Hello, this is Catherine Waddell, and this is part two of the three-part series, Excuses, Frustrations, and Plateaus when it comes to business. If you have not watched video one, you want to go back and watch that one about excuses. All right? We're going to get right into frustrations. When you're in business, you're living your passion, you're doing what you love, you will encounter some things that's just going to make you... Ugh, but I want to tell you one thing about this frustration is different from being on someone's job. It's different because when you're frustrated, it's really because you're trying to figure out how to get the resources you need in place. So it's not a frustration in the way of you're banging your head against the wall because the boss won't give you the time off or you didn't give the right excuse to get that extended time away you need from work with your newborn baby. You, you know, it's not that kind of frustration. It's how do I create this? How do I grow this? How do I invest in myself more? How do I get to the next level? When you're in business every year, you're going to be looking at the next year. And in your other life, being an employee, you make New Year's resolutions. You're going to do something different at your job. But as a business owner, you're looking at your New Year's resolutions differently. You're looking at what is this year going to bring. You're breaking your calendar up quarter by quarter. And even if you don't hit those marks, you know that you were striving for something because you have control over this. You're frustrated when you get when you get stuck on something. You're frustrated when some technology doesn't go like you want it to. You get frustrated if your interns or your employees don't do quite what you want them to do. But your frustration is because you know that there is a solution. Not frustration because you feel stuck. When you're in business and the frustrations rise up, you're, you just sit back and you start thinking, okay, it's time for a brainstorming session. You would have never done that as an employee because it may have fallen on deaf ears. I've been in that place so many times on a job. Now, let me be clear. If you are on a job that is allowing you the flexibility, if you are on a job that is allowing you the freedom that you want, if you are on a job that is allowing you to grow by leaps and bounds and you feel passionate about your position with that company, if you feel passionate about your potential with that company, by all means, that's where you need to be. I'm not telling you to leave that job. What I'm trying to get people to understand is to walk in what you're passionate about, to live what you're passionate about. 